Jess, this is co-conspirator um, statement. The portion of the call that's summarized in, I believe, what the court has before it, that document, um, it, I think it accurately sums up the portions that, so from zero, zero to 505, this is the subject that they're talking about. Are there objections? On behalf of Mr. Stilwell, um, to the extent that this call um, is direct evidence of count, I think it's 56, we, we acknowledge uh, the relevance. Uh, we would just ask that no extraneous information or discussion be played in front of the jury. Okay. So... Keep it. I mean, you you know the we we time have stamp. It. So I mean, I haven't listened to it, but if 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 you think that there's this extraneous stuff within that five minutes and five seconds, bring it to my attention or talk with the other side and come to agreement. Okay. All right, so then I think our next one might be the last one for here. Is that right? 2980, page 3022. Or did I skip one? Which one did I skip? I believe 2820. Oh, I thought y'all weren't going to pursue that one anymore. I'm sorry. I'm Correct, Your Honor. It is 2980 or 3022 is the last one on the uh, Excel okay. spreadsheet, Your Honor. This is a very brief call that the state would like to play. All right. Big yo. I hold these. Yeah. Well, you yeah, at the web. Yeah. I don't know about it. I need no father, no father clip. They need two. Just pull it out. He got one. He got. He don't want. I don't got a father. I don't know nobody else got no father. I got two extra mad for him. I'm gonna tell him when he could pull back or he just pull it out. All right. All right. All right. So, you are the state believes that this other called party is a. Rock Crew YSO member that goes by the name Jimmy Reeves. And so he says, are you up at the web, which is the same location we had mentioned a couple calls before. I got two extra mags for him. I believe he's talking about magazines with bullets in them. And that's, it's the, that those 27 second clips. And then he mentions Tunk, um, who I believe he's talking about, um, Mr. Sledge, but it's that brief. This would be one where we would ask him some questions about, you know, I believe it's two YSL members talking about getting extra magazines to bring to the web, a location that they hang out or frequent and sell narcotics, but I also see this in the category of questions we would ask Mr. Someone on the stand. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think that would just come in otherwise. I don't think that saying, hey, I think I've got two extra mags is establishes a conspiracy or that these two are co-conspirators. Uh, I understand, Your Honor. I, I thought he said, and I, I think we were asking questions on this. I thought he said I got two extra mags for him, as in for 
another YSL member. But nonetheless, this is something that we regardless, there can be people that provide ammunition to people who aren't co-conspirators. I mean, I just I don't think this one meets the requirements. Understood, Your Honor. So impeachment, you know, if if that becomes appropriate, but not otherwise. Yes, Your Honor. And All right, Your Honor. Uh, th this might not be the time, but I I, I just don't see the. They're already talking about laying a foundation for a prior inconsistent statement or potentially, but I don't even see the relevance of someone calling Mr. Sumlin. Mr. Sumlin says, Toon just left. And then someone, and I'm being told it's Jimmy Reeves. Again, Jimmy Reeves is a name that's new to me. Um, and... So not exactly a central figure in any of these stories, but apparently wanting to sell gun components to uh, Mr. or to anyone. But Mr. Sumlin says, oh, Mr. Sledge just left. Um, I just don't see the relevance of any of this to what we're talking about in this trial. So you know, I, I appreciate the court's ruling about it only potentially coming in as a prior and consistent statement. But I, if they start asking questions about something irrelevant, I'm going to, or what okay. I deem irrelevant, I think okay. relevance objections. Okay. Your Honor, the, the state's understanding of this clip is three YSL members discussing bringing magazines. I don't believe they're bringing empty magazines. I guess they could from firearms to a location that YSL members frequent and sell narcotics out of that also has firearms. So I think, because he's saying, I'm bringing it for him, talking about, I believe he's talking about Mr. Sledge. So you have two YSL members saying, hey, I'm going to come to the trap house to bring an extra two magazines for a third YSL gang member. Okay. I think it's certainly relevant. I understand the court's position on not in furtherance of the conspiracy, but I think it satisfies 401. Okay. It wasn't that it wasn't in furtherance of the conspiracy. It was that you, I don't think, it's established that whoever this unknown caller is, is a co-conspirator. Understood, Your Honor. That would, um, you know, I'll, I'll proffer to the court that the uh, APD gang detectives are familiar with Mr. Jimmy Reeves, um, who is a YSL member. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the contents of this call that you would know that. Okay. All right, well, that takes care of those, except for the couple we need to circle back on. So, and those were the two we just mentioned, and then also remember 2158. And then, of course, 2119, when we have um, Mr. Harvey with us again. Your Honor? Yes. Um, regarding, the, uh, regarding, regarding the Sumlin wiretap, I've been trying to take notes, and I realized, could you just review your ruling or restate your ruling for 2442? I just don't have a ruling noted for that. Um, that's in. Okay. 